Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Design Space in Espanol. My name is Abigail and I've been requested to make videos in English. So today will be my first video in English on how to use Inkscape and AxiDraw so you can do those fillings with your foil quill pen. And of course, if you have a Cricut, you can also do this using um, their pins, pins as well. And but for today or for the purpose of this video is to teach you how I use the fill in with the foil quill. And so the first step would be if you don't already have Inkscape would be to go to their page um, Inkscape.org and hit on download and then you will have these options here. If you have a Windows, well you would go through the process of downloading Inkscape for Windows or Mac. I have a Windows so the instructions I will give you will be on a based on a Windows um, computer. After you have downloaded that, you will go to this page here that I will leave the link in the description of this video. And you will search for the type of computer you have. In this case, like I said, I will be showing you with a Windows computer. And you would hit the download button for the extension of AxiDraw. Once you hit the download button, just um, after it downloads, open it, double click on it, and just make sure all the both options that should pop up there are checked. And then hit the download and it should be working properly. At least that was my experience with mine. If you have any issues, please let me know and I will try to help you out. So once AxiDraw is downloaded into your computer, we will now proceed to using Inkscape. And I hope it works for me because it's been freezing every time I'm trying to record it. So I'm hoping that this will run smoothly. So I've double clicked on Inkscape and for some reason it is always slow to open. So bear with me as we wait for Inkscape to open. So after typing the name, you hit the stroke button, it should be blank, but once you hit it, um, this wheel appears and you can select the color that you want to use. I mostly use blue because I find that that's the color that is the brightest and more visible, but you can pick any color that you want. Uh, so I'll just leave it blue and the fill, make sure that you have none, no fill. So once the, the stroke is set, I'm gonna. I'm trying to get a darker blue that is visible, um, but I am having no luck. So I'm just gonna go with this red one here. So once you have that set, um, I hope that this thing works with me because it's every time that I record, it gives me a hard time and doesn't let me do anything. So. Let's see, hopefully if it works with me because it's really, really irritating. Um, see, it's so irritating. So irritating why it keeps doing this. It's acting like I have nothing, nothing there. see what it wants I think it wants attention I seriously think it wants attention cuz see it doesn't open it why that's my question why do you do this to me are you driving me crazy it keeps acting like I am not selecting anything else like what's up with you I'm selecting something ah oh, finally okay now we're going to go to Path and Union. Let me see if I can go back to this. Oh my goodness. Okay, there we go. And then after we have that set, then we're going to go to Extensions, um, Actually Draw Utilities, and we're going to hit Hatch Fill. So I found that these numbers here are the best ones to get the best Hatch Fill. So I will leave them at that and then hit Live Preview. And we can zoom in. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna. Oh, it's not letting me zoom in. Let's apply the what we have here. Oh, 
Oops, I forget that that happens. Okay. And we're gonna close this and let's zoom in so you can see how it looks. And of course you can, you know, mess with the numbers, see what you prefer. Um, and after that, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> after that, then we're gonna save this. I'm gonna save it as Caleb fill in and then we're gonna upload it onto um we're gonna upload this onto um okay let's close this up to upload it into cricket design space so I had two things open here running. So let's open here and, let, and then let's, it's in Spanish, I apologize, but you're gonna go to uploads and let's see. There we go, I did save it. I'm gonna upload it and save it. And it is ready to go. I'm going to switch this to draw. Dibujar, which is draw. This is how it looks like. Like I said, you can mess with the options so you can have something more clear um, or more filled. Um, depending on how you find out that it actually uh, draws. Um, it should work fine. I've used it and it works perfectly. So I hope that you liked this tutorial. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up and share it. And we'll see you next time.